The Zambia Institute of Marketing, ZIM, is optimistic. The competition, the ratified African Continental Free Trade Area, AFCFTA, will bring about in a single market will not disadvantage Zambian businesses. ZIM President Kenneth Sinkamba says his institute is confident the quality of products produced by Zambian businesses can compete favorably at continental level. Mr. Sinkamba states that ZIM, which has welcomed the ratification of the African Continental Free Trade Area, urges marketers and business practitioners to actively participate in the single market now that Zambia has formalized its membership to the African Continental Free Trade Area. I think, I think quality is not a challenge uh, as far as I'm concerned. We have produced many goods in this country that have gone outside and have been recognized. What has been a challenge was recapitalization generally in most of the facilities that were able to sustain a certain level of quality. Now, when you have the assured market within the continent, obviously quality is very important. And we're going to be playing now to the advantages of each unique state. Remember, we're not doing away with the states as they stand. Zambia remains Zambia. However, we're saying, what are the full or a comparative advantages Zambia has? Instead of Zambia competing with Guinea over issues where Guinea has comparative advantage, we leave Guinea to focus on that. Then Guinea will leave to us to focus on that so that we have a proper, proper trade uh, relationship. So, with the opening up of the continent, the issues of quality is something that is provided for in the, in the Charter and it's something that everybody will be looking forward to addressing. So I am considerably comfortable that we have the capability with the right investments to be able to address all the requirements that we need on this continent. Mr. Sinkamba says, with the African Continental Free Trade Area in place, Africa is poised on being fully integrated. So for me and for us as a Zambia Institute of Marketing, we are really excited with the Zambia's uh, ratification of this very, very important uh, uh, milestone, which effectively is looking now to integrate the whole Africa. You know, we've got different um, uh, bodies or regional uh, bodies like Comesa, like uh, ECOWAS, like uh, PTA, like uh, SADIC. So all those things are now becoming uh, a, a basis and a stepping stone for a fully integrated Africa. And the Zim president has projected the African continental free trade area culminating into Africa having a single currency. This is the beginning of that destination. So a number of things are going to fall in place as we go along. I definitely would recommend that because when we're dealing with an African currency, whether you can call it an Afro or whatever you want to call it, but I think ultimately it becomes easier for us to trade. Right now we have to do a lot of conversions. And you find that most of African countries, their currencies are not even internationally traded. Now, when we have a currency that is addressing specific African currencies, we're talking one unit. So when I'm selling goods and services to Guinea, I'm using a particular currency, and that's a currency a Guinean will be responding to. So it becomes easier. So definitely, in the longer term, that would be a good point to have. But I think we need to first clear the teething issues. Following the recent ratification of the African Continental Free Trade Area, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Joseph Malangi, signed the instrument of accession, after which Zambia's envoy to Ethiopia, Emmanuel Mwamba, proceeded to deposit the original document with the African Union Commission. Lazarus Sichula, Mobility News.